girls. It was nice seeing everyone this morning. I'm excited to have our first writer's workshop together. Um, and so we're gonna get started. So we all talked about this morning was um, birds and what we know about them and what we wonder as well about them. So that's going to be our topic for our first writer's workshop together. Um, so the topic is going to be when I look outside. So this is our writing prompt, when I look outside. So when I look outside and when I went into the backyard this morning, I saw chickadees. It's a, diff it's a type of bird. They're very small and very cute. They were sitting in the pine tree. So that's what I'm going to draw here. So I'm going to get started with my picture. First, I'm going to draw some grass. It's spring now, even though it's cold, we've been getting rain and the grass has been growing and becoming much more green. There's my grass. And I'm going to draw my pine tree now. This pine tree is a nice tall pine tree with a skinny trunk. I'm going to draw some bark. It also has very long and thick roots that drink up the water from the ground when it rains. So I'm going to draw that as well because I thought that was important to show in my picture. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and draw some of my branches on my pine tree. Some are longer than others. And pine trees have lots and lots of branches. There we go. All right. And since this is a pine tree, I'm going to put some pine needles on my tree. And they go on the branch. There we are. And we also have pine cones that grow on the pine tree. And it seems like this is a very popular tree for birds. And I wonder if birds like to eat something from the pine cones, I wonder. Maybe that's why it's so popular for birds. Or maybe it's just because it has lots of branches and the birds like to just relax on those branches. So there we have it. There's my pine tree. And I'm also going to make my little chickadee birds. I never see just one chickadee. They're always usually together in groups of either two or more. So I'm going to draw some here, three of them. No. They're black and white and kind of gray. Their wings, you can see some gray on their wings. But I don't have gray, so that's okay. I'm just going to use what I have here. I'm going to draw their wings. This is where their faces are usually, their tummies. Draw a wing here and a wing here. Another one here. So I have their bodies and their wings, so I'm going to make some beaks. and their feet. There we go. Okay. Since it's about me outside looking at the chickadees, I'm going to draw a picture of me. So there's my head and my neck. I have, uh, I have green eyes, so I'm going to put some green eyes. 
I need my nose. And also a great big smile because I'm happy that the chickadees are visiting me. I have some long brown hair. A purple long sleeve shirt because it's still chilly outside. legs and look how I'm standing in the grass I'm not floating because we usually don't float so make sure that when you're drawing pictures of people and animals if they're not birds or or animals that can fly then make sure that they're on the ground or in a tree or something like that so I have my feet, shoes, and also my hands that I'm going to draw. There we are. And because I'm in the backyard, I'm standing next to my house. So I'm going to draw a house. My, win my door has a window there, another window. Okay, and also a roof. We've kind of go like that. And my shingles. Remember if if you think that you're missing something in your picture, like Mr. West said, you can always go back and revise revise your work. I'm missing some clouds. It's a very cloudy day today, so I'm going to put some clouds up in the sky. There we go. Cloudy day. And I think I'm going to get my labels done now. I'm going to put a line and put the word me because this is me outside it's no one else so me m e there this is not just anyone's house it's my house so i'm going to put my <sighs> that sounds like an h house okay and so we're going to look at up here clouds K, k. That can be a C or k, it can be a K, but I'm going to take a big guess and I think it's going to be a C. K, L, 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 clouds, clouds, O, U, D, S, clouds. I have grass over here. G, G, gr, G, G. G, gr, r, a, s, 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 a, and then s, 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 we have s. And now, since I mentioned the roots, I'm going to put roots too. R, r, u, 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 o, o, t, 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 s, roots. I'm gonna put pine tree here. Pine. T, t, t. Sounds like a T. Tr. Those two letters put together. Tr. T R E. Tree. That definitely sounds like an E, but it sounds like a long E. So I'm going to put two E's there. Pine tree. Okay. And our chickadees. Oh my goodness, that sounds like a very long word. Well, we'll figure it out. Cha, cha. Now, that sound put together, there's two letters there. Cha, C, H, Ch, I, K. Okay, we have chick, chick, A, A, 
and D, 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 and then there's our long E again, E, chick a D, so two E's. Okay, there we are, there are my labels. So now we're gonna go down to our sentence. So we already have our sentence starter here, when I look outside, so you can try and write this out. Or if you need some help, maybe you can ask someone at home. We're going to put our lines where we're going to put our, our words. So when I look outside, I, that's a short word, see, oh, here comes a long word, chickadees outside. Sitting, sitting in a pine tree. All right, so here we go. Our first word, I, C, sounds like an S. And then C, oh my goodness, there's our long E sound again. So we put our double E. I see chickadees. Well, we know that we have chickadees over here in our label, so we're going to copy down what we have in our labels. Chickadee. Now, since there's more than one chickadee, I'm going to put an S at the end. So it tells us there's more than one. I see chickadees outside. Out, there's one word, but there's two words put together in this word. Out and then side. So that's pretty easy. We just need to spell one word first and then we can figure out the next word that, com that comes right after it. Out, s. I, d, d, and we kind of have our tricky E that is going to play a trick on us because it's silent, outside. I see chickadees outside sitting, s, sounds like an S, I, I, that's our I that makes that sound, t, t, sitting. Now is there two E, sorry, is there two T's or is there one T? I'm not sure, so I'm just going to put one down, and I can always go back and check, and then write, re, and then rewrite my word if I want to check my spelling. Sit ing. Oh, we know that there's three letters that make ing, so it is I N G. Sitting I, I, in in the. We know that this is our sight word, so everyone knows the T H E pine tree. Pine P N tree. Okay, boys and girls, we made our sentence, but what what makes it a complete sentence? Huh? We have our capital letter at the beginning of our sentence, what do we need to put at the end of our sentence? Yes, that's right, a period, okay? So we're gonna put a period at the end. That makes our complete sentence. So we've got our sentence to go along with our picture. But what are we missing? Remember, when you think you're finished, go back and look at what you've done. I already know that I'm missing something. I'm missing my name and the date so that myself and Mrs. K know that this is Miss Panopoulos' work. So I need to put my name. I need to be proud of my work and always have my name up in the top. Miss Panopoulos. And then we're going to write the date on the other corner. It's May but it's Monday first, so Monday, the month of May, 
number 11, and it's the year 2020. And there we have it, our first writer's workshop for the week. So enjoy looking outside or going outside and observing what you see and hear when it comes to birds. All right, have a good Monday.